Hey guys, my name is Confident. Welcome to the 24 minute lesson except where I will be sharing with you some ideas, some methods, some strategies or concepts that you can incorporate as you prepare for your final exams, be it your studying for your mathematics N1, your N2 or your N3. Now, if these videos are handy and you are benefiting from them, you can actually press the like button or if you've got some ideas, you can leave some comments below. If you also like to be notified of extra videos every time we post them, you can subscribe to our channel and then you'll get some notification every time they are new videos. And also, if you are interested in some of our resources, be it test books and some videos, you can check this at the end of this video. We will send you some information. Now, let's check this concept out. Exponential equations um are the most uh, important part of your mathematics N2 and these usually become uh, mathematics N3 and you also find same exponential equations in your mathematics N4. So if you're going to be doing your mathematics N1, I mean your mathematics N2, N3 and N4, this is a good foundation for you to see how these equations uh, later change into N3 and N4. Now let us look at the question that is given here. This is a previous question paper. This is a question I mean taken from the previous paper. It says three times that dot there is times. So three times two to the exponent x is equal to 24. So the question is we need to solve for x. So as I say it is exponential equations. So how do you go about in simplifying this kind of a problem? So what we have um, in this case, if we can take, um, we need to uh, take care of uh, these three here. So the first thing that is important for you to do is to divide this expression by three so that you can remain with two exponent x. But what you do on the left hand side, you have to do on the right hand side. So that is how you are going to, uh, um, in this case, it is cancelling the 3 to cancel the 3. Now 3 into 24, you will get the 8. So it is how you are going then to remain with 2 exponent x is equal to 8. So you see, this is how... The whole um, challenge was it was this particular three which was complicating everything now when you have got this you are left with eight now you have to write eight in terms of two and the main aim is for you to match the exponents remember we have a law in exponential equations which says if a to the power of x is equal to a to the power of y so what we have, we have got same base. This is the base. The base is A and the base is A on the left and the right hand side. Now it means we can conclude and say, therefore, we equate the exponents whereby we say X is equal to Y. So this is what we want to achieve also on our problem. Now with our calculator here, we can see that 2 times 2 times 2 is equal to 8 so it means 2 to two, 2 to the exponent 3 in this case is equal to 8 so we can write 8 in terms of 2 which is 2 to the exponent x is equal to 2 to the exponent 3 so we have managed to match the basis and therefore we can conclude also in this case and say with that therefore x is equal to 3 so we equate the exponents and we have solved for the value of x so that is how um, you are able to uh, solve the value of x in that case now you can quickly prove your answer in this case uh, if we can say proof just to check if uh, you're correct so we are given 3 dot 2 to the exponent x is equal to 24. 
So I know my value of x. Remember, my x now is equal to 3. I got the value of x as 3. So I'll dip it 3 dot 2 to the power of 3. It must give me 24. So if I check with my calculator and say 3 dot means times 2 to the exponent 3. This is equal to 24. You can see that. So 24 on the left hand side. It balances with 24 on the right hand side. Therefore left hand side is equal to right hand side. When it's like that, it means my value for x is equal to 3. Therefore, it is correct. So that is how you can approach exponential equations as the foundation of these. As I said later, you find the same questions, though at an N3 level as well as N4 level. I hope this was of benefit to you. Remember, if you, are, you want to be notified of these lessons, you can subscribe to our channel by pressing the subscribe button or you can also um, like uh, if ever you want to make some comment you can also um, uh, like or leave some comment for us thank you i hope the video that you just watched was of benefit to you and as i said if you benefited from the video you can press the like button or you can leave us a comment below and if you want to be notified of these videos you can always uh, subscribe to our channel now if you want the full curriculum of this mathematics if you are studying for mathematics n1 n2 or n3 and you want the test book as well as the videos we have a full um, curriculum of the mathematics n1 n2 n3 as well as the accompanying videos we also have videos of the previous question papers the latest papers that were written in video form these question papers can assist you as you prepare for your exams we also have pdf version of the previous question papers that were that were written since 2014 until now and if you want them you can check all the information from our website and trust me these will become very handy to you uh, we sell them at a very discounted prices and it is worth the try thank you